What's happening, my Dewey's kids and uh, other new viewers? Welcome back to <laughs> Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. In the last episode, we completed some stages up in Spagonia Night. No, Chunan. Chunan Night, yes. And now we're back. And I'm sorry I've been gone for quite some time. Haven't been sticking up to my normal, like, two or three videos per week. But it's been getting pretty busy, which is why I'm doing post commentary at this moment as we speak. Well, I speak. You guys are just watch. And I'm watching, too, the Magnificent Night of... The Werehog, and one thing I have to say about this stage is that it is pretty good looking for a Wii game. Like, I haven't seen any stage look this good except for the one that we will head to right after this one. I'm not going to spoil it, but of course I played ahead. I have a whole bunch of footage for the upload, because this game's not too long, and I feel like I'm taking quite some time. I feel like I, the Let's Play should only be, what, two months or so? I've been taking about five <laughs> since like summer as I remember I don't know when I started this but it's been a while and I just want to get through because after winter break work well for me I do expect to be not I'm not promising anything don't don't quote me on this don't say the witch kid said this or that no no I might be starting Wii U let's plays it depends if I get my capture card for Delgado because I want the best for you guys I want the best quality I want the best everything and right now, I think my Wii quality is pretty good. The only thing that's not good is my um my quality, but that can be fixed with a simple, you know, bing bing bada boom. So yeah, look forward for that. I don't know. And if you guys have any ideas of Wii U games you might want me to do, please let me know. I mean, of course, I want to do a few that I'm not gonna say because I'll kind of spoil it. But I don't know. I mean, like, if you guys have any requests, cause I know I haven't really been taking requests from you guys. I mean, I've been, like, pretty active with the way I respond, but haven't really been asking for any requests or something like that. I mean, no one really asked for me to do Sonic Unleashed. I just went ahead, and no one asked for Kirby's at the Yarn. It's just that, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm not getting a lot of feedback. I need I need you guys. That That's your job. And, like, right here, I'll die. Yeah, because those things are annoying. What you want to do is, really take the box that I crushed and uh, throw it at that first one and then take that box and throw it at the second one so you, and the little edges will protect you but this one I was being pretty ballsy so yeah and I found out like was my like when I don't like talk and play at the same time I do way better cuz man this run this run was pretty good on my part I mean I'm not even gonna lie I was pretty into it I was I wasn't dying as much cuz I'm <laughs> right here I had to be really careful cuz I only have one life and I will, I will show you guys like an extra bonus video before we head to Eggman Land. How you guys can get more lives in the Wii version of this game. It's pretty simple. But, yeah. Of course, I'm just going around to get more, you know, Gaia. And while we're on the subject of Sonic, I know we talked about this in my last video with Super Sonic 2015. But, uh, Sonic Lost World! Yeah, let's go back there since I have nothing to talk about this game. You guys are basically looking at footage that I played, not really doing anything, but... Demo recently came out for the US and Europe this time, and I got to play it myself, and man oh man... I think I overplayed a game. There's such thing called as overplaying a game, I think I've exceeded that limit, because... I've... if you guys have played the game, you know what I'm talking about when I say this. I've collected well over 3,000 critters, animals, whatever you want to call them. And I've only been playing the first stage, Windy's Hill, Windy Hill. So, you tell me that's overplaying. I've walked through the stage. I've speed run the stage. I've, like I said, I've trotted without, like, spin dashing. I've run. I've spin dashed. My fastest time is probably 1 minute 19 seconds. Yes, I timed myself. I don't have time trials unlocked, but I timed myself. And I have to say, I'm pretty good with that game. Like, I love that game. Like, the gameplay. Of course, like I said last time. I wasn't used to the controls, so I wasn't really sure what I was doing. But after playing that game, like the demo, I know what I'm doing, and the game is really fun. 
the parkour is good once you know what you're doing. It's more of those games like if you don't know how to control, you won't have any fun. My first time playing, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying it out. I mean, but I try. I found out all these possibilities, like my channel trailer says, and it's beautiful. I just love the gameplay. It's fast, fluent, and it's it can be slow at times, but it depends what you're doing. Like. The gravity in that game can be so broken at times, like the 3DS version, like, you can just crash the game. Not really, your Wii U will be fine, but you can just break that, destroy it, spit it out, chew it a little bit, and it will be, like, you will own the stage. It's just amazing. I love, like, the new tactics. It's better than anything I've ever done in this game, Sonic Unleashed, uh, Sonic Generation, Sonic Colors, even. Ah, oh, man. But... Yeah, it, the the game controls well. I just want to get that off my chest for like uh, I get quoted on things I said in my last video. Cause I know we were talking about it. I, I know Super Sonic 2015 doesn't have a Wii U, and he doesn't get to try it out like as fast as I did. But the day I heard, like I was on Facebook, and I got that news. I was like, oh my god! I ran over to my Wii U. I turned it on like faster than anybody can say fast. I totally, like, almost broke the power button, and I just powered on that bay. I, I put in, uh, I went to the eShop, downloaded Sonic Unleashed, and I played, and I have six attempts left. So you can tell that I played four times, I turned on the game four times, and I've already had 3,000 critters. That's well over enough to get me through, like, the friggin' second, third world, so when I get the game, I think I'll be fine. And let me guys know, let me know if you want me to do a let's play on that game, actually, because I don't know. I, I wasn't going to, like, head right into it. Like, if, when I get my catcher card, if I get my catcher card, let me say that. I wasn't going to head right into it. I was going to, like, mosey my way into it, like, do the games that came before. Like, you know, Sonic Colors and stuff like that. I wasn't going to head ridden, right into it, but if you guys really want to. Because there's a lot of let's plays going on right now. I don't know if... Mine will be really wanted at that time. And I mean, sure, it might give me a lot of views. And sure, it might give me a lot of subscribers. But that's not everything. I mean, I just, I just play games for fun. And, uh, I mean, you guys like what you see. Do subscribe and share the news. Like, that's how I get noticed. That's how I get not a ties and stuff. That's how everyone does. I mean, I, I, oh, man, I hate to, like, bring other people into the comment. But that's how Kobanermani456. Like, he started out with a camera. His quality was good for what he could do. His his commentary was perfect, right on. And, you know, that's what people look for. And they spread the news. And that's what I need you guys to do. I mean, I might be kind of thirsty now and then about subscribers. But, yeah. And right, right here, what you want to do is basically dodge when he attacks. And then keep going at him like I'm doing. You should be fine. And I might have some audio troubles, which you're hearing. I'll probably just mute it and put some different music in the background because it was annoying for me. And I don't want you guys to go through that same troubles because I feel you. I feel the same way you would. If I wouldn't want to watch a video with that, why would I upload that? I know I know. sometimes in the past I've uploaded that, but that's because, like, I don't know. I've been lazy with editing, but, you know, I'm kind of getting more serious into this YouTube thing. So, I'm going right into it. Straight on, and S rank for the win, baby. And although I didn't mean to take a long time with this video, I actually did, and uh, it's quite 20 minutes. Although I was trying to take like 14 minutes, and uh, yeah, you guys should be getting next part, not this week, probably. I don't know when, whenever I feel like, yeah. So I think it's cutscene actually, so huh. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't much, but, uh, yeah, here is actually, I think, the first boss for the warehouse, and these bosses are quite different from the day stage bosses where you're running. This one is bringing in Arena. The music plays Dark Guy of Phoenix Boss Battle. How's that for an announcement? This battle was quite slow for me, so slow that... You guys are actually looking at the sped up version. I don't know if my computer is lagging, but I've always remembered, like, even when I played on the Wii, like, 
and this this boss fight has always been slow for me. So I, I see there. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I don't want to like make the music sound like so terrible because the music is actually quite nice. I'll probably just replace the what I'm what you're hearing right now with the regular music and I'll speed it up because this is extremely slow and it's tedious and it's terrible. What you're supposed to do is when he's glowing like some cherry on top of a milkshake. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to get one of these water barrels, because he's a phoenix, he's on fire, yeah, so what you want to do, I keep saying what you want to do, what you gotta do, and what you need, my old slogan, yeah, throw the water at him, walk over to the middle while he goes for a rest, because this is how he recharges his fire, blazing stuff, you go there, you start punching at his feet, chop, 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 do the combos, they work the best for me, uh, there you go, and this is key, like, quick time event for the Warehog. I'm pretty sure we've already seen this before. So, I failed that. And the better you do the combos, uh, the more damage you do. So, I did a good amount of damage. Not the best. But, just letting you guys know what you should do. And, of course, I pause. And I resume back again. Jeez, uh, what is up with this thing? Anyway, let's see. So we're basically fighting this thing of Majiga, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just got discombobulated for a second, and I forgot what I was actually doing. But I'm co-comment, not co. I'm commentating my video. And like I said, this battle carries on for a long time. It's kind of kind of boring watching it because it's not really fun unless you're doing. The Xbox version truly because this is not even like fun to look at because he doesn't even look like he's on fire it looks like there's like melting play-doh on him or something I, I mean okay maybe I'm going way too far like dissing the Wii's graphics it, it wasn't that bad but literally I don't see anything fun about this boss except for like the fact that the quick time events which are only if you pull them off right which I failed to do multiple times and I actually had to hit him more than I had to which is why the video went on for like 20 minutes but is that crap I don't understand I mean what did I ever do wrong huh huh video I mean I don't know I don't know maybe like we're not meant to be. okay so <laughs> what am I talking about guys he goes into a rage mode right now. Now he's blazing. He's in fear. He's in inferno. He's, he's. If I know other fire synonyms, I would still say them. But pyro. He's a pyromaniac. Yeah, let's just go with that. And it's basically the same thing. You dodge his attacks if he's like that. You have a shorter amount of time now to throw the water on him. Once you throw three barrels this time, he will disintegrate. Not disintegrate, but it will. Ex Distinguish his flames and we'll be able to go for the final hit Well, actually not in my case because I'm a derp and I had to go for one more hit than I actually had to so Yeah We're just gonna sit through and watch me get my S rank still because it turns out you need to finish the boss in five minutes Yeah, they were clicking five minutes for this thing kind of ridiculous and uh, Yeah uh, I'll let you guys witness the terrible greatness I don't even know what greatness is. Like, this is nowhere close to greatness. I just wish I had did the final attack, because, as you guys saw, all the quick time events were the same for all this. I thought it was going to be the same. Turns out they throw an A in there, and he was left with a sliver of health. A sliver! So I had to redo all of that again because of a friggin' game, and it's logic, and Sonic 06, and it's magic. I just don't know. I don't know what they were expecting or how they wanted me to do it, but uh, yeah, I, I that's what we get for assuming the first three letters. Don't don't spell it out, kids. Well, spell it out. Yeah, that's that's what I told you. Spell it out. The first three letters is what I was being actually, and uh, I should have realized that it, the game would have switched it out. So it's not that hard. He actually went. It. This is actually my lucky run of the boss because usually he takes forever to go into his little charging mode. But he did it pretty fast, and the barrels were responding quite frequently, so it, it was good in my favor for just the recording sake. And, uh, yeah, I hear a squirrel outside. It's kind of creepy. It's like, meow, 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 meow. Sounds like loose loops. 
But anyway, he actually took damage from me clawing him once. Yeah. And that was it for the Dark Phoenix. Nothing much. Didn't really have to... Didn't really complain about that. That was actually a pretty quiet boss. Like yep. And God. Guys. Woo. That is nice. That That's boom. Boom, boom, pow. Hit that jack in his style. I don't even know. I don't know where I was going with that. How can I thank you? You always have my deepest gratitude. I came here to this holy shrine, but somehow it seems like the lie lost consciousness. I'm Zoshin, uh, elder, and something about Gaia Temple. You keep the holy shrine for many ta generations. Tablet fragments with you. Uh, planet tablet. Go to the temple door. And then, da -da. And we got the third continent. Clearing block cack. The moment the temple lit up, the beast woke up. It appears he's come back to his senses. I see. I'll bet your job is to, <laughs> to guard the Chaos Emerald Temple. You must have gone berserk when the emeralds lost their power. Well, I'm glad you're back. Want some chocolate? on the Dark Gaia-powered Eggman land construction system. Current status is 27% complete. Progress is significantly behind projected timetable. Presumed cause of delay is Dark Gaia dispersion across the globe. Oh, of all the lazy, here I go to the trouble of waking that Dark Gaia thing up, and it causes me nothing but delays. Dark Gaia had yet to reach maturity within the planet's core. Ergo, it was still incomplete at the time of its awakening. Ergo, it was unable to sustain its own weight upon its release. Ergo, it scattered around the world. I don't want to hear about its weight issues. So what if I gave it a bit of a sudden awakening? This is unacceptable. Ergo, this is the repercussion of your hasty actions. What was that? I'm having a bad enough day as it is. First, that professor runs off with the Gaia manuscripts, and now the planet's coming back together. <laughs> that, Doctor, is the result of the power of the Chaos Emeralds, which you discarded along with Sonic. Ergo, another repercussion of your hasty actions. C quiet, you junkie. That was all part of my plan, part of the big picture. Where's the fun in having my plan succeed without any challenge? <laughs> anyway, what's the status of the remaining temples of Gaia? Eggman forces have currently secured all locations. Defensive preparations are nearly complete. That'll take care of Sonic for now, which leaves the problem of Dark Gaia. It'd be difficult to collect every piece scattered all across the world. Searching conventional wisdom banks for topical advice. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Slow and steady wins the race. Nobody likes a whiner. Hmm. Isn't there a more efficient way? Some way to, well, I don't know, gather them all up at once. Wait, that's it, of course! <laughs> With this... Oh no! 
is diabolical. He moves a bunch of lines around. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Professor Pickle may uh, found a new destination for us, and we'll be heading to Sagonia in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to comment down there. You know the usual. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, don't forget to comment down below your opinions about this video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. The Wiz Kid out.